ஹலோ ஐம் டாக்டர் ஸ்ரீராமலிங்கம் ஸ்பைன் சர்ஜன் அட் ஆர்த்தோ ஒன் ஹாஸ்பிட்டல் கோயம்புத்தூர் ஸோ டுடே வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு சி சம்திங் அபவுட் ஸ்பான்ட்லைட்டஸ் ஆர் டீஜெனரேஷன் ஆஃப் த ஸ்பைன் ஆர் வி வி ஹவ் ஆல்வேஸ் சீன் தேட் எல்டர்லி பீப்புள் ஆர் ஈவன் யங் பீப்புள் டெலிங் த எல்டர்லி தட் யூ ஹவ் நவ் க்ரோன் ஓல்ட் அண்ட் தட் இஸ் த காஸ் ஃபார் த பெயின் தட் யூ ஆர் ஹேவிங் இன் த பேக் அண்ட் வி ஆல்சோ ஹேவ் திஸ் கான்செப்ட் தட் ஸ்பான்ட்லைட்டஸ் ஆர் டீஜெனரேட்டிவ் சேஞ்சஸ் இன் த ஸ்பைன் கேன் காஸ் அ லாட் ஆஃப் பேக் பெயின் now i would like to contradict it completely because if that is the cause for back pain then every elderly person or anybody who is say above above 70 or 80 should all have back pain or neck pain but is that the case we all know no so it's not that every every elderly person is not having back pain or neck pain only a few uh, of them do suffer from severe pains now some amount of disability is okay but uh, some pains are not because of degenerative changes so now what what is this degenerative changes is like this is one of the model this is a full model of the spine and if we take out a single piece from that we call this as a motion segment motion segment is one segment of spine that causes all the mobility in the spine now this consists of two vertebral bodies like this there is a disc inside and if you see behind there are two facet joints or the two joints which move like that now this is a normal model and if you see in as we grow older and older this disc gets degenerated and the bones above and below starts pointing out like that which we call as osteophyte formations and then uh, this slowly settles down in that way and this is a usual way it just settles down like that it doesn't cause pain but if somebody is having pain then we need to think of abnormal mobilities or abnormal disc problems developing in that area so any elderly person developing pain either it may be just because of a, a mild micro instabilities or disc problems like this which which project out that way and starts pressing on the nerves or uh, a micro instabilities instabilities we call in the sense like there are two bones like that which sitting on top of each other when there is a movement that happens in between them which we call as spondylolisthesis which is a called uh, in elderly we called as degenerative spondylolisthesis where the bones show a micro mobility like that and this causes back pain now so it may be either because of just a disc going in like that projecting out and causing some compression on the nerve or there may be mobility that is causing the pain and there is another group of symptoms which happens because what we call as the lumbar canal stenosis or this is the model again and you see this is the spinal cord that goes inside and if you see the space that happens here that's called the spinal canal and so the nerves which go inside if the spinal canal becomes narrowed and narrowed and then starts pressing onto the nerve then again you get these kind of symptoms which we called as the most of the elderly in who have a lumbar canal stenosis will not be able to walk longer say if they walk say 100 meters or so they get calf pain or they get heaviness in the leg and then they have to sit for a while and once they sit then the pain gets relieved a bit and then again they are able to walk so so this is called lumbar canal stenosis now on top of all this we also need to remember elderly people are the people who are again prone for uh, metastasis or Uh, illnesses which elsewhere in the body going to the spine and affecting it commonly so uh, we need to keep this also in mind that any kind of uh, uh, dangerous illnesses or oncological illnesses which we call can also be the cause for the pain in the elderly so an elderly person complaining of pain should never be neglected saying that it is because of the age or it is because of your activities and all that because an age as such even if it is 70 80 or 90 uh, will not cause back pain or neck pain so an elderly person getting pain in the back or neck or anywhere in the spine should be treated as seriously as a person in younger age getting the problem because they develop almost similar kind of issues and moreover because of their age degenerative changes they have their own special issues and there are some red flag signs like the metastasis or diseases elsewhere in the body manifesting in the spine which is more common in the elderly so this video at least uh, is to highlight that 
any elderly person presenting with back pain should be taken seriously and should be definitely shown to a doctor nearby and investigated properly. Thank you.